Hello, I'm Chris Edmonds of the Purposeful Culture Group. Here's today's culture leadership charge for Smart Brief. As the new year starts, many companies engage in performance planning. Consistent contributions and great citizenship by all players doesn't happen by default. It happens by design. To ensure results and respect are delivered daily, leaders must create a clear plan outlining expectations in productivity, sales, customer satisfaction, the employee experience, positive relationships, and more. A formalized plan creates a common understanding of expected deliverables and required values. It enables leaders to coach, to praise aligned efforts and accomplishments, and to redirect misaligned efforts and behaviors. Consistent coaching also allows for flexibility, changes to the plan over the year. A formal plan followed by consistent coaching leads to an annual review that celebrates aligned contributions and citizenship and identifies areas for improvement. Insights from that year's effort can get incorporated into the next year's plan and the cycle begins again. Now this cycle requires diligence, commitment, and structure. A few years back, one culture client began their first contribution planning process. The president gave her eight direct reports, all were senior executives, the assignment to create their personal contribution plan for the coming year. The executives put in a lot of time thinking and writing their contribution plans. Once she reviewed these plans, the president was shocked at the poor quality of what was in those plans. The problem was that these executives had never been asked to create a plan like that before. The president had given them no guidance. So they did their best and created plans based on what they hoped the president wanted. Now, these executives were set up to fail. The president had to teach them, and she did with my guidance. <laughs> we created a template with six vital areas for each of these executives. Those areas included financial management, culture management, servant leadership, performance and quality, customer service, and professional development. The template included two top-level goals for each area, and then some space to craft quarterly plans for each of those goals. The president coached them through goal setting and action planning, and the result was eight contribution plans that clearly described how their goals in each area would be met. Now, her coaching helped these leaders adapt their plans as needed, treat others with respect, and deliver on 90% of their defined goals. That's an effective contribution plan. What have I missed? What questions do you have? Head to my YouTube channel to add your thoughts or to post your questions.